It's no secret. A lot of hospitals around the country and world are dealing with the shortage of medical supplies like the mask and the ventilators. Well, a group of Maryland engineers are coming together to solve the problem in a very creative way. WMER 2 News' Abby Isaacs explains how this could save lives. The group of engineers is using 3D printers and even breast pumps to make face masks and ventilators that can be used in hospitals that are running out. It might seem like a stretch for the average person. The tubing to allow for airflow to the mask. But breast pumps might be the key to solving a nationwide ventilator shortage. These are two ends that will go into the air in and the O2 in that connects at the hospital. Rachel Labatt and a small group of engineers is working on just that at the University of Maryland's tech port in St. Mary's County. It's usually an incubator for drone companies, but with the change in business models and demand, it's become a hotspot for engineers working to create hospital equipment. Director Tommy Luganbill says people have already created 3D printed face shields and face mask frames. You can use a cloth and put the frame on it Put it on your face. And then came the ventilator. The FDA actually approved the emergency use of medical devices, including positive pressure devices modified for use as ventilators. And that's when our idea of a breast pump came into play. They're reversing the airflow and adding a programmable circuit board to make it compatible for each patient. Our end goal is to get ventilators to hospitals to save patients. They only started a week ago. They've gotten tons of donations and now they're working to get the design FDA approved before sending the instructions out so other people can replicate them and help patients nationwide. Right now around the world there are doctors that are having to decide between person A and person B and which one is going to get the ventilator and so they're essentially deciding who gets to live and who gets to die. So rather than have our doctors here in the U.S. have to make that decision, they want to make sure that they don't actually have to get to that. They're still taking donations of breast pumps, and they're also looking for a biomedical lab that can run some tests on their prototype so they can get FDA approval. And they're also looking for companies that can produce circuit boards for these machines. We have information on how to contribute on our website, WMAR2news.com. In Montgomery County, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2news.